Have you ever taken a photo of a receipt only to forget about it two days later? Or tried to remember where your money went at the end of the month and realized you have no idea? What if I told you that every time you snap a receipt photo, it automatically gets read by AI, logged into your digital wallet, and summarized in a weekly chart without typing a single word? And today, I'm gonna show you how I built an automated financial tracker. So let's dive into how each piece works, why it's there, and what makes it tick. The first node is Telegram Trigger. When receive photo, starts the entire workflow when a user sends a photo to the bot. It only listens for new image inputs, nothing else. This ensures the bot doesn't get confused by text messages or other events. This is your starting point. The moment the robot wakes up, the second node is Telegram Download Image. Ronex this downloads the image file from Telegram and picks the highest resolution version of the photo to ensure clarity. Without this step, the AI wouldn't be able to process the image. It's like handing the receipt directly to the robot so it can start reading. The third node is Get Image Info. Rano retrieves metadata about the image, size, format, etc. Validates that the image is usable before sending it to the AI. It then prevents errors later on by checking quality early. This node makes sure the robot isn't trying to read a blurry or corrupted receipt. The fourth node is Basic LLM Chain. This feeds the image to Google Gemini AI and asks it to extract invoice details. The prompt is specifically crafted to tell the AI what data to extract, how to format it, and even how to guess categories or calculate tax. Think of this as giving the AI a set of instructions. Here's a receipt. Read it, understand it, and give me back structured data. The fifth node is Google Gemini Chat Model. Remy, an actual AI model that interprets the invoice, uses one of the most accurate models for reading receipts, Gemini Flash. It handles multimodal input, both the image and the text prompt. This is the brain of the operation, where the magic happens. The sixth node is parse. To your object table drawn, it converts the raw AI response into a clean structured JSON object, and it defines the exact schema, date, name, quantity, price, total, category, tax. Make sure the output is consistent and predictable. This is like organizing the messy notes your friend gave you into a clean table that anyone can read. The seventh node is split out data transaction, which splits multi-item invoices into individual rows and allows each item to be saved separately in Notion. It enables detailed tracking of every single purchase. Imagine buying groceries with 10 items. This node ensures each one is tracked individually. The eighth node is record to Notion database run at AQS. It saves each item to a Notion database, maps fields like name, quantity, price, total, category, date, tax, turns your inbox into a searchable, filterable expense log. This is like filing each receipt into a digital folder so you can find it anytime, anywhere. The ninth note is send back to chat and give summarized text Toronto are summarizing what was recorded. Includes a friendly confirmation like, today you spent $20 on groceries, gives instant feedback so you know the system is working. It's like getting a text from your friend saying, got your receipt, here's what I found. The tenth node is Schedule Trigger for Send Chart Report, like triggers the weekly report generation. It can be set to daily, weekly, monthly, whatever suits your needs. Fully automatic, no need to click anything. This is your robot checking its watch and saying, it's time to make the weekly summary. Next node is Get Recent Data from Notion's Raw Renewed. It fetches the last week's worth of transactions from Notion. It filters by created time to get only recent data and prepares the data set for analysis. This is like pulling out all the receipts from the past seven days and stacking them neatly on the table. The twelfth node is to summarize transaction data real time. It aggregates spending by category, adds up totals for food, transport, utilities, etc., prepares the data for visualization. This node says, okay, we've got a bunch of receipts, now let's see where the money went. The next node is to convert data to JSON chart payload, structures the data in a way QuickChart understands, sets up labels, values, colors, titles, gets everything ready for the final visual, like turning numbers into ingredients, ready to be baked into a chart. Then generate chart, creates the actual chart image, usually a bar chart, shows your spending broken down by category, visualizes the data clearly and simply. This is the final product, the cake coming out of the oven. The next node is to send chart image to group or private chat. This delivers the chart directly to your Telegram group or personal chat, keeps you informed without needing to log in somewhere else, and lets you share the report with family, roommates, or your accountant. Your robot just handed you a colorful chart and said, here's where your money went this week.